teachers and administrators uh, to tag at the Kumasi Technical University have defied a directive by the National Labor Commission to resume work. All lecture halls in the university remain under lock and key. Our reporter Ibrahim Abubakar has been to the campus and joins us for more updates. The National Labor Commission has directed members of TUTAG and TUSAG to call off their strike action after meeting with their leadership on Friday, January 10. The commission says government is working to migrate all qualified members onto the single spine pay structure and will make sure that by January 29, they will be paid their allowances due them. We've come to the campus of Kumasi Technical University to find out whether members of TUTAG and TUSAG have complied with the directive. But what we've observed is that all the lecture halls are still under lock and key, signifying that they are still on strike. Let me briefly engage with the leadership of TUTAG and TUSAG and find out what their position is after the meeting by NLC. We got a distress uh, letter from the NLC to appear before them. But earlier, we had a deal with them. They wrote to us that, God willing, tomorrow, 14th of January, they would want to meet us on the same issue. So we had accepted meeting them, God willing, tomorrow, on the 14th, until that distress letter came. And we couldn't have attended because, as you already know, we pull our national council from all over the country. So we sent a lawyer. What TUTAG actually did as a form of respect to the NLC was to send a lawyer to go and plead on our behalf that, yes, we are willing to appear, but because of the nature of our council, we would want them to keep to their 14th uh, date, appointment date. But to our surprise, the lawyer came back to us and told us that uh, the plea was not taken. In fact, they had written their, their ruling long before even the meeting date. I don't know whether you have cited the ruling of the NLC. Even the date of meeting, 10th, was not the date of the ruling. The ruling was 8th of January. They had ruled. And that's, those are one of the uh, funny things in the system when we are solving real problems. Meaning they were not there to listen. They won't listen to anybody. Their, their minds were made up. But you don't solve problems like that, my brother. So, National's position has been that, yes, our lawyer has reported back to us. We have a Congress coming Thursday. We will deliberate upon the ruling, even though it is full of defects. So incomplete of a ruling. We will still deliberate on it and we will communicate the outcome to the general public. As it stands now, um, you are, you've not returned to the classroom? No, we, we cannot return to the classroom. The communication by the strike was that, yes, this is a council, a Congress decision, and that it will be reverted or reversed by the same council, the same Congress that called it. Well, let's get on to the telephone line. Speak with Adam Kojo Honu, the national president of the Technical University Senior Administrators Association, Ghana. Uh, he joins us on the uh, line now. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you very much. So we understand that you are expected to call off your strike action today upon the instructions of the National Labor Commission. Have you done that? Uh, good afternoon to your uh, listening. The, the National Executive Committee of TUSAG has not yet met. Uh, on Friday, when the ruling was done, the copy that was given to us had uh, some fundamental issues mm. which we identified and discussed with the Executive Secretary of the National Labor Commission. Uh, he admitted to it and uh, he assured us that uh, the, the corrected copy will be given to us today and so uh, since we were not giving, we couldn't take a copy, uh, we couldn't convene NEC to take a decision on the ruling. And you have effectively defied the orders of the National Labor Commission to call off the strike. That's what it is. I mean, you're giving us no, reasons no, why. No, no. no we, we have not defied the, the, the National Labor Commission. 
uh, what was what the what the ruling that was done in the in the chamber, the copy that was given to us, we identified issues with it, mm. which we sought to clarify. And the executive secretary right. indeed uh, admitted to it that it must be it must be corrected. And so we are waiting on the corrected version. When we get a copy, then we can immediately call next to uh, study it and then take a decision. All right, uh, Mr. Honu, thank you very much uh, for your time.